Hey guys, Kuja here with Exoscribe TV, and today I want to talk to you about the secrets of your cells. The interesting thing about your cells in, in your body is that you have 50 to 70 trillion cells that make up you and who you are. And the most interesting thing about them is that the cells tell a story, if not give secrets about you and, uh, and what you're capable of. And we'll talk about that in a second. But let's take a step back. Let's look at really what the cell is composed of and how it relates to the human body. Well, if you look at the cell, the cell has a cell membrane and it has you know, organelles, just like you have organs, and it has a nucleus. And it was long believed that the nucleus was the so-called brain of the cell. You know, if you remove your, the brain out of your body, well, then your body, would, of course, would die. And uh, what, what was interesting is that when they actually removed the nucleus up from the cell, the cell didn't die. And this was a, a, a very, very interesting point because the nucleus contains the chromosomes and the DNA. So the whole notion that your DNA controls your outcomes or that your genes control your outcomes was proven to be false because the, uh, the cell could live on. And the idea was that the nucleus was really just a reproduction center. You know, your cell can live on without the nucleus, but only for a certain period of time because parts start breaking down and the nucleus needs to be there to kind of copy and reprint those new parts. So the point was that the brain was not the nucleus. So that means that your, your genes and your DNA were not responsible for your outcomes. It was actually the cell membrane that was the brain of the, of the cell. So the cell membrane is just like your brain, except if you think of the brain, the brain has been often called the central nervous system. I like to think of it as the extended nervous system with the digestion and your skin. So when we think about the cell membrane, the cell membrane is actually a lot like your skin and it, you know, it holds in all of your cells and, and, uh, and the culture medium. You know, one thing that I saw on Dr. Bruce Lipton's uh, Biology of Belief video is he talked about how in the 60s he took human stem cells and he put them in different petri dishes and uh, in different culture mediums and every single one manifested into something different. One turned into fat, one turned into muscle, one turned into bone. And, uh, and the whole idea of this study and, and what he was doing was he was trying to prove that you know, the, uh, the genes and the DNA were not really what were causing the, uh, the cells to turn into what they turn into, but it was the culture medium. So going back to the relationship between the cells and the human body, if you look at your body, your body is like one giant cell. You know, your skin is the petri dish, your blood is the culture medium, and essentially what you will manifest into in terms of what you want to do for fitness or what you want to achieve for fat loss, those things are determined by your beliefs and your actions and your behaviors. You know, so it's not your genes, it's not your DNA, those play a factor, but your environment, so the people and the environment you put yourself in and surround yourself with, that's a major determinant of what your outcomes will be, as well as your behaviors and your habits. If you're eating junk food every day, that's what's going to influence what you're going to look like or turn into. So when you're thinking about your long-term goals, think about your habits, think about your environment, don't blame it on your genes. Thanks for tuning in today on Extra Scribe TV. See you soon.